This is a big moment for Huawei, the launch of new products, including a phone called the Mate 60. A lot of these people have been on a waiting list to get theirs. It's said to be sleek, it's fast, and importantly, it's being powered by a Made in China chip that appears to support 5G. And in that sense, it's being seen as a major victory over U.S. tech export bans against Huawei. Huawei's apparent chip breakthrough is creating a lot of buzz here and a lot of questions in the U.S. about how it happened. The U.S. has cut off Huawei from chip-making supplies since 2019, calling Huawei a security risk, which the company denies. Here, it's become a symbol of the fierce tech competition between the U.S. and China. It does matter, says Yang Zhiwen. Buying domestic chips is to support my own country. News of China's most advanced homemade chip has been stoking nationalist sentiment here at a time when Beijing is pushing Chinese companies for self-sufficiency in technology. I was obviously... Just last week, Commerce Secretary Gina Raimondo told a House committee she was upset that Huawei managed to launch a new smartphone. Huawei's Mate 60 actually quietly went on sale here in August during Raimondo's visit to China. She's been trolled online ever since, with fake Huawei ads and phone covers meant to mock U.S. sanctions. That fervor and a resurgent Huawei could also pose a challenge for Apple. China is the third largest market for Apple. When the iPhone 15 launched here last week, the first person in line arrived at 1 a.m. It's my first time in the Apple store. It's very important for me. U.S. commerce officials say it isn't yet clear if any trade restrictions were violated. For now, SMIC, China's largest chip maker, along with Huawei, are hailing this as a milestone and a victory. One more thing on timing. It was two years ago today that Huawei's CFO and current chairperson Meng Wanzhou returned to China from house arrest in Canada for allegedly doing business with Iran that a made-in-China chip inside a phone was being released on the second anniversary of her release appears to be no coincidence. All right, our thanks to Janice Mackey Frere for that. Thanks for watching. Stay updated about breaking news and top stories on the NBC News app or follow us on social media.